the seaweed invasion unfortunately continues. If you live here or if you're visiting from somewhere else, you've no doubt seen it or smelled them. It's sargassum seaweed. It's a natural algae from the middle of the ocean. And it's actually caused by pollution from North and South America. It's a real problem. A Harvard scientist has done an independent study on this. One man's work, but it is extremely alarming. This is the stretch of beach in front of the Palm Beach Country Club. Stand there for a minute and a couple things start to happen. Itchy eyes, congestion, an overwhelming stench similar to rotten eggs. Stick around and you'll likely see tiny turtles, newborns, struggling to climb out of the weeds, often not making it off the beach to the ocean. Just a passing phenomenon? Unfortunately not. Throughout the Caribbean Sea and the entire Gulf of Mexico now, we are seeing uh, these phenomenal blooms of, of sargassum like they've never seen before. And the question becomes, where did it come from? What caused this? Satellite photos show the equatorial currents off of Brazil, coupled with the North Atlantic current, bringing it into the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea, where the right conditions, much warmer water, is causing a huge problem. The Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean Sea have a fever. They're uh, about a degree C centigrade higher than ever before. Uh, and worse than ever before, there's nutrients like we've never seen before washing out from the entire east coast of, of South America uh, and from North America into the Gulf. And this great mixture, this great stew, this great soup has created just the right nutrient and temperature conditions for sargassum seaweed to take off. The result is a magnification of what we're looking at here in Palm Beach. Virtually every island in the Caribbean and Bahamas is overwhelmed by sargassum seaweed now. Environmental problems tremendous, hurts tourism, and it's actually dangerous. And though nutrients from millions of gallons of Amazon runoff contribute, North America is playing a role. And this discharge from the Mississippi River, from the St. John River in Florida, from the Apalachicola, and the entire southern part of Florida flowing down through all the farms in southern Florida, entering out into the Gulf and the Caribbean through the Shark River and Taylor Slow, this great malu, this great stew of nutrients and sewage products and runoff from farms and from roofs and from roads and from lawns has created this rich nutrient broth. An unappetizing and dangerous broth. When it washes up on these beaches and windrows, it kills everything under it. And then as the sargassum itself dies, it creates this fetid, awful, uh, rotten egg smell. And so this daily, daily uh, cleaning of the beaches, trucking of the sargassum away, this is a problem throughout the Caribbean, throughout the Gulf of Mexico. The result, dying birds, these flamingos being treated in Bonaire, and there's been a terrible impact on tourism. Seaworthy harvesting machines and barges may be the only way to hold back the sargassum generated by nature and mankind. The prognosis is grim. Researchers say the seaweed may be here to stay, and that's an ugly new normal. And this may be the worst algal bloom uh, in the history of mankind on Earth that we've ever seen, and it's getting worse. Researchers say there could be hope, but it's going to take ingenuity and commitment. We need help from the places where uh, the nutrients and the septage discharge is coming from along the east coast of South America, from the whole southern end of the U.S., to help begin to stop that, stop runoff, pollution, and then help fund cleanups, help create uh, industrial uses for the sargassum so that this waste product can become a useful product and help to save the economies of the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. There are troubling assessments on what it will cost to rid Florida beaches of sargassum. In June, Miami-Dade County officials gave a presentation estimating that removing the seaweed could cost 35 to $45 million a year. The county has roughly 43 miles of coastline, much of which would have to be cleaned up to protect the tourist economy. Since the end of last week, cleanup crews in South Florida have been targeting areas of beach with the biggest buildup of sargassum. They're using dump trucks and bulldozers to scoop it up and haul it out of the sand. According to Miami-Dade County officials, crews arrive early in the morning and they finish by roughly 10.30 a.m. before the beach visitors arrive. What will the town of Palm Beach and Palm Beach County do about this growing problem? We'll tell you more in further reports on palmbeachcivic.org. I'm Tim Malloy for the Palm Beach Civic Association.